Hi, I'm James Stuber, and today I want to show you how I use Notion as my personal daily dashboard. Let's get into it. When I open Notion, the first thing I see is my daily dashboard. You can think of a daily dashboard as sort of a central HQ, a jumping off point to begin your day. I like to look at my dashboard every morning before I get to work. You can see I've made it the top workspace here. At the top of my dashboard, I have an image that sort of inspires me to get working. Here's a super messy desk that I really love. At the top here, I've got little reminders to myself. Uh, these are things I want to keep in mind throughout my day. If these little reminders ever start to get stale, I'll make sure to change them. I want to make sure that these are things that I'm paying attention to and that I'm not just ignoring them. Next on my dashboard is my projects database. This is a filtered view of all of my projects and it only shows me the things that I'm currently working on. Uh, you can see here I've got a daily planning workshop that I'm running next Monday, um, some tests that I want to do for my career development. Um, you know, I recently just mentored uh, building a second brain, but that's actually done. So I can check this off as done and it disappears from my projects list. Next is my areas list. Areas of responsibility are parts of your life that require some sort of standard to be maintained over time. One common example is your health, right? Uh, you're never done with your health like you would be done with a project. So here I've got a database of all of my areas of responsibility. Because I have so many areas of responsibility and I don't want to just skim over them every day, I'll actually filter these to only show the areas that are kind of relevant on a weekly basis. Uh, these are things that I'm constantly updating. For example, something like my blog, I'll be working on almost daily, maybe weekly, but something like my taxes is an area of responsibility that I don't need to check every day. This next section here is my most important work for the day. So this is from yesterday, but what I like to do here is put the top one to three things that I really want to get done today. So for example, my most important work today would be uh, to meet with book club and record this video for YouTube. And a third thing might be to hang out with my friends on Zoom. Next on my dashboard is my habit tracker. Every day I can put in a new day and I can track some habits. Right now I'm only tracking two things. I wanna be writing for 20 minutes and I wanna be tidying up my place for 20 minutes. And you can see that this week I've been pretty bad about tidying up my place. Um, this morning I wrote for about half an hour, so I can check that off. But I haven't done any cleaning yet today, so I won't check that off yet. The last section here is called people, and it's people I need to say hi to. Uh, these are people who are important in my life that I would like to contact on a kind of regular basis. And I have a column here for last contact. So this is the last time I talked to Steven. And I've got a filter here that sort of uh, indicates to me that uh, I should probably talk to Steven because it's been too long. And that's it. That's all that's on my daily dashboard. I've got some reminders, uh, an overview of my projects, an overview of my areas, my most important work for the day, my habits I'm tracking, and people I need to say hi to. I think it's really important to keep your dashboard simple. When you're making a dashboard, there's a sort of a tendency to be like, oh man, like this is going to be like everything. I'm going to pull in resources from my to-do list and I'm going to pull in things from my calendar and I'm going to make this super complicated, uh, like perfect system. I think it's really important to design a daily dashboard for the laziest, the most tired, the most exhausted version of your future self. I don't want my daily dashboard to become a place where I feel these UGG fields, where I don't want to check it, where uh, it feels like too much work to look through this and check things off or to rearrange or to add new projects. So I try to make my dashboard as simple as I can to still get the things I want to get done, done. If you'd like to learn more details about my personal dashboard, I've included a link below to my blog post where I go much more into detail and even include a template that you can copy. This isn't a sponsored video, but there is a link to a affiliate code so that you can save $10 off of your Notion subscription. What kind of things would you include on a daily dashboard? Let me know in the comments below.